Well, some Washington lawmakers say they're working to get Delphi salaried employees their pensions back. Former Delphi workers shared their frustrations in a field hearing held earlier today here in Dayton. Natalie Tendall was there, explains what's next for those workers. Natalie? Delphi salaried retirees say they've spent millions of dollars on a lawsuit since the 2009 auto bailout. They want to know why their union co workers who were paid by the hour got their full pensions, while salaried workers are only getting a portion, some as little as 30%. In 2011, they had a hearing, but say little has been done since to move the process forward. But there is new hope tonight. Nearly four years have gone by, and Delphi salaried employees are still not seeing their full pensions. Now lawmakers are stepping in, hoping to get something done. We hope that this will be a launching pad to pull together some of those past hearings that have occurred, uh, take them back to Washington, D.C., uh, and continue to put pressure on the administration to tell the truth. What happened with respect to these pensions, and how can we get these monies restored? Congressman Mike Turner of Dayton believes the trouble with the pensions started with the bankruptcy of General Motors in 2009. He says the federal government government and the Pension Benefit Guaranteeing Corporation became the ones in charge of the money. According to workers, they have asked for answers and what they do get isn't helping. The next one, uh, 20 pages of the email are deleted. Now, a House subcommittee that's dedicated to holding government agencies accountable is taking on the case. We're reaching several milestones in this process. Uh, there's an inspector general report that is due. There's also ongoing litigation. Uh, we're highlighting the work that has already been done in the investigations in Washington, D.C. They say they're willing to do whatever it takes to get answers and have an important message for those waiting. Uh, their congressman has not forgotten them. But, uh, this is important. Uh, uh, billions of dollars of taxpayers money was used. Now there are 2,000 Delphi salaried retirees and some say they have come up with a solution that involves using money from investments to get their pensions back. They're trying to make the proposal to the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation but have not had any response. I contacted the corporation and they sent back this statement which reads in part, the agency has kept in contact with the staff to the, over, or the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee as well as a variety of congressional officers in Ohio and other states where DSRA members reside on issues related to the Delphi pension plans. Now we'll stay on top of this situation and let you know how things progress. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, working for you.